HARP, or High Active Auroral Research Program, is operated by the U.S. Air Force and is claimed to be simply a research facility. The stated purpose by the Air Force for the HARP project is that of a scientific endeavor aimed at studying the properties and behavior of the ionosphere, with particular emphasis on being able to understand and use it to enhance communications and surveillance systems for both civilian and defense purposes. It may be this, and then again, it may be more than simply a scientific endeavor. It may also be enlightening to consider United States Patent 4686-605 by Bernard Eastland in 1987 entitled, A Method and Apparatus for Altering a Region in the Earth's Atmosphere, Ionosphere, and or Magnetosphere. There are many who have sensibly concluded that this patent essentially represents a blueprint for the HARP facility as it has been constructed. This patent makes mention of numerous objectives and methods of operation that far exceed any scientific endeavor alone, and references the work of Nikola Tesla as a source of historical contribution. The amazing inventions and achievements of Tesla with respect to energy transfer and amplification, including the use of the atmosphere as a medium for sending energy from point A to point B, are well documented. The documents of Tesla were eventually confiscated at the close of his life, especially as they related to military matters, and he is generally now accepted as an unrecognized genius. The current incarnation of ionospheric heating is able to, according to Mr. Eastland, put unprecedented amounts of power in the Earth's atmosphere at strategic locations, and to maintain that power level with the pulsing of energy. This patent also recommends the use of large clouds of barium so that ionization by sunlight will increase the electron density within the plasma environment. Testing and analysis does now positively indicate the presence of unusual levels of barium, a toxic element, within atmospheric samples. The amount of power inherent in the design of the HARP project is further indicated by Mr. Eastland stating that the present invention can be formed to simulate or perform the same functions as a detonation of a heave-type nuclear device without actually having to detonate such a device. A heave weapon has the effect of lifting the magnetic field of the Earth itself and involves the expenditure of massive amounts of energy. The patent is further stated to have numerous military implications, including the enhancement of or interference with communication and guidance systems, including those of airplanes and missiles, radar interference, missile destruction, weather modification, material transport of micron-sized particles, and molecular change of the atmosphere are each mentioned as further applications of the patent design. The executive summary for the HARP project also specifically mentions forcing the descent of particles from the atmosphere toward the ground using ELF radiation from HARP. Clearly, environmental modifications, the electromagnetic transfer of energy, and military operations of global impact are already in sight from the existence of these aerosols within our atmosphere. And I started noticing, especially in, 90, in, in uh, by March of 99, April of 99, uh, people were becoming very, very ill. At the time I was working in a healthcare facility and I was seeing uh, a lot of upper respiratory disease happen, uh, and over the years I've watched more and more people come down with asthma, and you can hear it, you go to the supermarket and you find children, you know, children that are two and three years old, and, they're, and, and you can hear them wheezing, you can hear rails in their chest, I mean, this is very unusual. It's no longer the joy it used to be to go hiking in the mountains, to go outside to ride my bike. Um, I've had more upper respiratory and lower respiratory and sinus infections and, and health problems in the last five years than I have in all my life combined. Well, if, if the public does have a big outcry against this, well, we already know they can, they can blatantly spray us with whatever the hell they please, and it could be, you know, they could, they could put, you know, put us to sleep or something, you know, they could, they could put something in, you know, some tranquilizers or something, we'd just be walking zombies. In a lot of ways, I think a lot of our population are walking zombies. I mean, the level, the, the, the lack of 
the general lack of the ability to think critically about anything outside of one's own personal uh, life, safety, football games, is astounding to me. The hopeful view is that they, they're going to stop this at some point during my lifetime so that I can see blue skies again. And you know what? I've never, ever had that feeling before until this started that there's actually one thing I want to see before I die, and that is a really deep blue sky. Thank you. 